guys, welcome back to this place. If you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are watching season three, episode one of Dark. That is right, we are entering the last season of Dark, which honestly makes me so sad. I have loved the show so, so much. It's, if it ends good, which I think it will, uh, I, it's just gonna be up there with my favorite shows. Like it's, it's just so well written and acted and direct. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling at the beginning of this episode. Um, I just, I do just quickly want to let you guys know, I do have a little bit of an upper respiratory virus. I feel <laughs> not great right now, and I learned yesterday watching Battlestar Galactica while sick that uh, my patients quite thin. Uh, when I'm sick. So I'm going to try to, you know, react normally and everything. But yeah, just, just so you guys know, if there's like coughing or sneezing or anything like that, like I apologize, but you know, just this part hates me right now. Like my head, everything. It just, it, it's, anyway. That being said, I cannot wait to get my mind off of it and watch Dark, especially because of where we left off which was with a Marta from another world coming and telling Jonas that she was one from another world. And like, so the multiverse is in this, or at least alternate universes, which is essentially the multiverse. So that's going to be really interesting. And I wonder like what she's doing there and why, like, just like, why does this universe have an impact on all the other universes because like it shouldn't right i don't know depending on what the fuck adam is doing anyway uh yeah so we had that you know the apocalypse happened uh we learned that charlotte's mom is her daughter the family trees in this show just real real messed up and very incestuous honestly in Wyndon. So, slightly concerning. Uh, there was also a note that Noah gave to Jonas with the middle-aged Jonas, I guess. I mean, I don't think he's middle-aged because I think he's like late 30s, 40s, but he's in the middle of the other two Jonases, so. But yeah, there was a note that Noah gave to him and I really am very curious to find out what it means and what it said because they did not show us because they love to do that to us. So yeah. I'm going to stop rambling and let's just get into season three, you guys. I can't wait. Man can do what he wills, but he cannot do what he wills. What he will? What? Who? Older man? Okay. It's all him, whoever he is. They all have the same scar. Who, can I get a name? Okay, he's just gonna light it all on fire. Sure, but why, who are you? I feel like they're doing it so dramatically. Like you could just toss it, right? Also, are you gonna leave? Cause that's gonna kill you. Who are you? Can I get a name? fucking cool the way that they like the effect that they did for that wie sind wir hierher gekommen wie wir hierher gekommen sind that little device thing du bist nicht marta she's not your marta wer bist du she's a version of her from a different world heute ist der tag an dem alles angefangen hat 
Oh, so she found the beginning. Indem wir zum ersten Mal begegnet sind. What? How is that the beginning? Was soll das heißen? Are they Adam and Eve? Du und ich. Deine und meine Welt. The day that your world and my world. In diesem Knoten untrennbar miteinander verbunden sind. Oh. Deine Welt? She already said that it was. She already explained to us. Kind of. I mean, not really, but. Is she gonna leave now? Ich mach das wieder gut. Das verspreche ich. Warte. Wohin gehst du? Warum bin ich hier? They're both trying to make it right. Do you think that them both trying to make it right is what fucks it up in the first place? Oh, wow. Or so are we gonna see everything from her perspective now? It's just like uh, Jonas, except everything's the opposite, if that makes sense. So this is in her world, her version of reality. They live in that house. That's so interesting. Does that mean that Ulrich is gonna do what uh, Jonas' dad did? Michael? Michael? Magnus! It is exactly the same because it's like uh, Jonas' mom and Ulrich, right? His hair is black in this. And he has a bunch of tattoos. Interesting. Und nicht vergessen, ihr seid ab morgen bei eurem Vater. Ooh, so they're divorced in this one. The picture's ripped. Just like the one with the grandma, right? Is Ulrich gonna be with Hannah? Yeah, he is. God, Hannah wishes that she lived in this world. Oh, I was not expecting that. Schön bist du. Is that Jonas? No, it can't be. Can it? Like the the baby, I mean. This is so cool to get to watch it. Like another. Like, it's the same, but different, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just really cool to get to experience it as if Marta is Jonas. Because I guess in this version of reality, she is. Like, her part is the same as his part in this version of reality, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Now, where did she put him? Back in the future? Or no, it's gotta be now because it's everything's reversed, right? So they have the couch on this side, the chairs are on that side, right? So this is her world at some point. Hey, mother. Kilian. Who in the fuck is that? Sicher wegen deinem Bruder. Sind wir schon zwei Wochen? So lange war er noch nie weg. Sonst mal eine Nachricht geschickt. Sagt, dass er das zu Hause nicht mehr aushält oder. Keine Ahnung. Ist mal nichts. So, ist das Eric's Brother? In this... Na los. Mama wird sonst böse. Hm. Mm. Mm. She's so pretty. Hat den ganzen Morgen jetzt irgendwas gefragt. She's pretty in both, to be fair. Also. Gut, war ja nur Routine. Is Marta gonna be the Adam of this world? Which I guess if we're gonna go with the Adam and Eve symbolism that's kind of been presented in the title and in that moment in the cave, then maybe she'll be Eve? That's like the picture of them and his world, but he doesn't exist yet in this world because I assume that he's the baby that Hannah 
is pregnant with. Keine Spuren, keine Zeugen. Und nach eurem Protokoll hat auch die Befragung der Nachbarn. Oh, he has both eyes. Hey Patch. Oh, but he only has one arm. Ich bin Jonas. Sophie hat eine Klasse. She doesn't know him yet. Ich habe keine Benachrichtigung über einen neuen Schüler erhalten. Oh, okay. Hat noch eine Unterschrift gefehlt. You're being a little creepy, Jonas. She doesn't know that she knows you. Wie geht es dir? Uh, something already happened to Regina. It's good. Ah, did she already die? Also dann. Glaubst du, dass Erik vielleicht auf das Gelände gekommen ist? Die Höhlen liegen ja zum Teil auf der Seite des Kernkraftwerks. Das ist unmöglich. Die Zugänge sind bereits vor Jahren versiegelt worden. Da kommt niemand rein. Same investigation. Probably the same result. Ulrich und die Kinder, das, das zu ihnen gehört. Und ich will, dass du weißt, dass ich dem nicht im Weg stehe. Mm, sounds fake. Das ist aber sehr großzügig von dir. Sounds fake, because I know you. At least I know the other you. I imagine... Ich früh eigentlich bei euch? This you is not that different. Er wollte noch was vorbeibringen. Was denn vorbeibringen? Ich weiß nicht. Irgendwas für die Schule, für die Kinder. Nein. She knows that she's sus. Dann hat das vielleicht vergessen. Hannah, are you gonna be you again in this iteration too? Of reality, because, man, that would be trippy. Mama? <gasps> Bitte? Ist alles in Ordnung mit dir? Kann ich dir irgendwie helfen? Poor Jonas. I mean, I think that could be you, but I mean, it would be Ulrich and hers baby, right? So like, would that still be Jonas? Are they having an affair? Oh, they are. Wir müssen damit aufhören. Das wird sich halt früher da ganz anders angehört. Ulrich gets around, doesn't he? Like, no matter what timeline it is, he's like, <laughs> I gotta... I gotta cheat. Michael, Michael Kahnwald, Hannas Mann. Ich weiß nicht, wer du denkst, Hannas Mann, willst du mich verarschen? Ich kenne keinen Michael Kahnwald. Hannas Mann ist mein Vater und der heißt Ulrich. Ich weiß nicht, was für ein Trip du bist, aber jetzt verpiss dich endlich, okay? Yeah. Interesting. So she's deaf in this one. I feel like if y'all are meeting here personally, would maybe bring like a sleeping bag to keep there, you know, something a bit more cozy. Opa, is alles okay? Sure. Ich wollte wissen, ob hier jemand begraben liegt. Michael Kahnwald. Nein, wir haben Daniel Kahnwald gestorben, 64. Kein Michael Kahnwald. Oh. Interesting. Vielleicht bin ich deswegen hier. Damit es nicht passiert. Was passiert? Kenne ich dich? Ich habe das Gefühl, ich habe dich irgendwo schon mal gesehen. Do you? Okay. Was wollen Sie von mir? The master key is a plan. Oh no. Ah, let's let's not let's not garrot people. 
Nichts ist umsonst. Excuse me? Kein Atemzug. Kein Schritt. Kein Wort. Kein Schmerz. Ein ewig dauerndes Wunder des Einen. Wer zum Teufel sind sie? The One. Okay, he is killing him. Is this, uh, Eric's parents' house? Yep, so it's him that goes this time. Ich heute da. Du weißt, was du zu tun hast. Was willst du hier? Warum hast du gesagt, dass wir uns kennen? Das tun wir. Nicht jetzt, wann anders. Was soll das heißen? It's confusing. Very, very, very confusing. Ich glaube, ich weiß jetzt, warum ich hier bin. Warum du mich geholt hast. Why? Damit ich es ändere. Can change what? Was änderst? Yeah, I also would like to know. How is he? Woher kennst du meinen Bruder? Das, das kann nicht sein. Du hast ihn mitgenommen. Heide, die Babysitterin ist krank und er wollte nicht allein zu Hause bleiben. Deswegen ist er mitgekommen. It's a different world, though. Keine Ahnung, was die Scheiße hier soll. Aber Mikkel ist alt genug, der kann auf sich selber aufpassen. Du verpiss dich jetzt einfach. It's gonna be that kid, maybe? Or... Freak. Or... Franziska, or... I don't know. Komm, lass gehen. Why does nobody ever give anybody enough information? To, like, actually be able to stop whatever they're trying to stop, you know? Was ist hier los? I was gonna say, whoever goes with Marta is the one who's gonna disappear, right? So it's gonna be Killian. Killian? Marta! Who the fuck said that? Oh. It's her. She sees herself. Oh, he's right there. Oh, so nobody disappears? That's weird. Is that Matt? Why is Jonas here though? That I don't understand. Like what's happening? Like nobody disappeared? Ich habe lange auf diesen Moment gewartet. Dass du zurückkommst. Who are you? Is that Marta? But she's older? Nickel. Er ist nicht zurückgereist. Okay. Er wird nicht dein Vater. Und du? Won't exist. In dieser Welt nie geboren. Okay, so. Eine Welt ohne dich. Ist das nicht das, was du wolltest? Und trotzdem ist diese Welt zu dem gleichen Schicksal verdammt wie deine. How, though? Alles wird auseinanderbrechen. In dieser Welt genauso wie in deiner. Why? Wieder. Und wieder. Wegen dir. What's he doing? He just standing there. Und wegen mir. Marta. It's gotta be Marta. Marta. Yeah.
Charlotte's family. Ish. Oh, is that who that is? No, it can't be. They don't look like that guy. Eighteen eighty-eight. Okay. The first device to tr yeah 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 that thing. This is when it was first created. Who? Is it one of the lip people? You wanna? He looks so different in his little outfit. Why is he in 1888? And how is he in this world? Oh, maybe because that one is in that world. She is, but right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just not yours. Ich bin hier, um dir zu helfen, den Ursprung zu finden. Die eine Sache, die der Anfang. Okay. In deiner Welt. And in hers. And in meiner. Okay, so they're gonna try to find the origin <sighs> okay so this season the premise is really interesting it's set up completely different but also the same and I again feel the need to question like how the hell they're going to unravel this mystery and then wrap it up as well as the mystery of the past two seasons with Jonas in the next seven episodes because I feel <laughs> like they should have more time than that to be able to tell the story. Now, I'm not doubting the show. I think the show is incredible. And if, you know, this was their plan, then I trust that they will wrap it up. There is a lot of interesting sort of new things in this season. Obviously, we are in a completely different world the same sort of characters for the most part, yet everything is a little bit different because we're in an alternate version of reality. Now, my question is, because the way that they're setting this up is kind of like there's Jonas's reality world and then there's Marta's reality or world. And so those are kind of the two worlds. So are we saying that there's these two realities are the two realities that exist like these are the two uh versions of the world in which case there's not like an infinite number of variations of the world based off of different choices right because uh the idea of like alternate universes is sort of at least to my understanding and please <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, because I do not claim to be like a scientific person in any way. But the way that I understand it is that the idea is that there's infinite sort of alternate universes, right? And so like in every iteration of reality, every single possible thing has happened or can happen in another universe, right? I don't know if I'm explaining that well, but essentially that there's many, many different universes based off of many, many different pathways that your life could take, right? Obviously this is all scientific theory. There's no actual scientific data that alternate universes exist or that there's any, you know, definitive scientific proof that they 
don't exist, right? They're kind of just like a theoretical idea at the moment that like there is the possibility that there's other universes, right? I think that like the way that that's the way I understand it, right? Like um, with science, there's a lot of things that are theoretical because there's no like definitive way to say that they aren't true, right? And like with science, you need like verifiable proof, but also it's, it's hard because like there's so many different things that scientifically could be true or possible, but we just don't have the ability with the constructs of the stuff that we have available to us right now and the breadth, breadth, breadth not the word I'm looking for but like all of the information that we have available like we just don't have enough yet to say x y and z is or isn't definitively true or possible right I mean I of course think that there well maybe not of course but I feel like with dark it's relevant um I think that I understand the limitations of my own knowledge and understanding of the world and in a in a world like earth um in a galaxy that is infinite and that we only understand like such a tiny fraction of i think that the possibility for so many things exists like i highly doubt that we're the only form of intelligent life in the universe I highly doubt that a lot of things. Anyway, I'm open to the possibility of anything happening. That being said, if a fucking another version of me came to talk to me, I would be real fucked up about it. <laughs> like, you know, like I, like every time I watch Dark and I love science fiction, if you guys don't know that about me, I love science fiction. Science fiction, fantasy, they're sort of like my go-to genres. I love them. That being said, I am so happy that I have like a very normal <laughs> non-science fiction-y life, right? It's the whole idea of like when people are like, oh, that's your favorite like fictional universe. Would you want to travel to it? Would I want to travel to the dark universe? No, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. one I would not have subtitles and I do not speak German so I would be real fucked <laughs> I would have no idea what anybody is saying to me at any time um I would catch like three words that I've figured out um through watching dark but also just like would not want the mind fuck of of that world anyway I am rambling oh you guys I'm sorry, I'm rambling. To get back to this episode and what happened and how we're starting the season, I really love that everything is inverted, right? At least to my recollection. So as always, let me know if I am wrong in that. But from what I remember, like Jonas's house, like, except for, no, Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me look real quick for a second. Cause I'm trying to remember. Like everything is the opposite, okay? So like when we're seeing Jonas's house in season one, season two, kitchen, uh, it's like the kitchen is here to the left, like from the audience's point of view, left ooh, dining room, door, uh, staircase going up this way. Now, when we're seeing Marta's house, which is the Jonas, you know, Jonas's house that we've seen in the past, it's kitchen, dining room, stairs going this way instead of this way. So door would probably be here, right? Like, am I, I feel like that's true. <laughs> I feel like everything we're seeing is like the opposite of before. Like when we see Alexander's office at the power plant when we've seen it in the past 
Claudia's office, like the door is over here, people come in. When we saw it this time, the door is over here, people come in, right? So I think that, I mean, obviously that is an intentional choice by the creators of the show to just make everything feel off kilter, right? It's kind of like a Dutch angle. Like, you know, when you watch I think that that's correct. But when you watch things with like a Dutch angle, it just, it feels not right because it's not the angle that, you know, we're used to seeing things. It's like a little bit off kilter and it just makes the whole scene feel like your brain is like, ah, something's wrong. And I feel like that's kind of what they're doing with this iteration of the world because we know these characters a certain way for the past two seasons and we know like these locations a certain way for the past two seasons and then we get everything almost exactly the same but just like a little bit left of center almost right because we had the mirroring literally it's like a mirror right uh we had Jonas woke up in his bed from a nightmare, flipped out, sat up in November. And then that was the start, November 4th. That was the start of everything. This iteration, we have Marta wakes up in the same bedroom, but everything is mirrored. And she gets up, puts her legs out of bed, you know. And then everything happens kind of very similar, similarly to the way that it happened with Jonas, but also different. So I was wondering if it would be possible that Jonas was Ulrich and Hannah's child. I know it doesn't like it wouldn't fully make sense or explain things because uh, he's Mickles. But I was like, I don't fucking know. Like, I, just, I don't know how things work, right? <laughs> In different universes. So it looks like the explanation is that Jonas does not exist in this world. So where Jonas, it's, so what is it that dooms both worlds? Like, so with Jonas, it seems to be the implication is that it was him who later became Adam and his quest to save his father. Now, Marta in this world does not have that same quest. And also nobody that she loved went missing through Wendon Cave this night. So I'm really curious what her motivation is going to be going forward. Like she did find the dead body of who I assume was still her uncle in this version of reality and so is there gonna be like a Claudia-esque person that comes and talks to her and tells her where to put the body and like all of them that were in that room because yeah I'm just curious like what is gonna be what makes Marta the Jonas of this world, right? And like, I am curious if they are gonna go with like the Adam and Eve theme because there, there was something that made me think that. Let me go scrub back real quick another time to when Marta and Jonas were in the cave. Okay, can I just say that the travel is really cool, how they burst into like all the little lights. Now, Okay, so I don't know why. For some reason that gave me Adam and Eve vibes. Also the fact that he's Adam. Also the fact that there's a lot of biblical symbolism and like symbology. Is that a word? Uh, that like Adam wants to create a new world. So Adam and Eve biblically were the first people, right? And they took a bite of the apple well, Eve took a bite of the apple and then they learned like the truth. So I'm curious if like this, these events in their world is like them taking the bite of the apple and then they're learning the truth about the universe and then 
trying to change it. Now, interestingly, she said this is the moment they met and their worlds became intertwined. Now, is that why that world gets destroyed? Because she went to get Jonas and then their worlds became intertwined. Also, like, I'm really curious, I guess, huh, I'm curious as to when Marta of this world realizes that she needs to talk to Jonas because we know Jonas's motivation w regarding Marta in the other world because he was in love with her. But this version of Marta just met Jonas on like the day her world got real fucked up. So I'm just, I'm curious as to how that's going to come into play and their relationship is going to be explained this iteration of her and him, you know? Also, if the older version of Marta, like, why does she not look like the older version of Jonas, like Adam, you know? She wasn't burned or anything like Adam is, so has he traveled, like, much, much more through time than she has? And if so, does like the fact that he he's also traveling through worlds, but she traveled through a world, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm very curious as to where this is gonna go, and how it's gonna all get explained, because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> like, I really like I can't even guess. Like everything is so different, and I'm just so curious how it's all gonna come together um like who are the guy the the young the middle and the old like who are like the kid the people with the scar on their like lip right here like who are they why are they torching shit why do they want the master key to the plant like what the like what do they have to do with all of this like where do they come into play why is every age of this person together working together like that's also weird like i i don't understand their part in the grand scheme of it yet and it's interesting uh it's interesting to see also just everybody's different lives that you kind of don't expect like like Francisca did I call her Francica again I feel like I called her Francica again damn it Francisca is deaf in this version and Elizabeth isn't Charlotte is having an affair with Ulrich instead of Peter having an affair with uh the the Wooler right no Wooler is, is Wooler the first name or the last name I can't remember but eye patches um sister right because they were transitioning um so that's different Ulrich was married to Hannah but is now with no was married to Katarina but is now with Hannah and is also cheating with Charlotte because I guess Ulrich is just, you know, he said, fuck loyalty, fuck, you know, monogamy. Um, which honestly, like, if you don't want to be monogamous, that's fine. But I think that every party in the relationship should know that, you know, like, maybe stop being a cheating asshole, Ulrich. Um, you know, just my opinion. Who knows if Hannah is going to be Hannah in this like how <sighs> I'll give her the benefit of the doubt until she starts doing some fucked up shit, you know? Um, we, Killian like is Eric's brother in this one and he did not exist as far as I remember in the first two. Um, Helgi lives with uh, <coughs> Peter and Charlotte. Yeah, there's just so many things are different and I'm really curious, like I patch is not eye patch because he has both eyes 
he just has one arm. So I'm curious as to how that happened, which they probably won't tell us because they never told us how he was eye patch. Um, Regina is dead. Uh, so yeah, there's just, there's so much, there's so much that, it, oh, Peter is a priest apparently. So Padre Noah doesn't exist, but Padre Peter does. Uh, September 21st seems to be an important day in this world. So now we're in September and it was, where was it? September 87 and September, September 21st, 1888 in 1987. So I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff that's different and I'm trying to figure out how it's it's all related but obviously I don't really have all the tools quite yet this is sort of like the first episode of dark all over again <laughs> it is just there's also all of the background information and context from the first two seasons that we didn't have in the first episode of dark you know what I'm saying? The pilot. So it's really good. I'm really excited to continue it and to see like what the precipitating sort of event is and um, what the origin is and how Marta and Jonas are going, like what they're going to do if they find the origin, like how they plan on changing it. Because Jonas seemed to believe later <sighs> that uh, you had to change little things, not big things, but you would think that the origin of all of this would be a big thing. And also like the last time we saw Jonas before we just saw him in 1888 in another world, which we know has to be our Jonas because Jonas doesn't exist in that world. He got the letter from Noah and then took Francisca and Magnus and Bartage, I believe, to 1888. I don't know where he went. We have not seen Bartage. Bartage. As far as I know, in the future. But, so I'm curious where he goes, what happens to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really curious how anything is gonna change. I also think it's really interesting that at the beginning, um, well, it kind of tied in. It was like bookended a bit, right? Because at the beginning, they had the guy saying, you know, if you knew how it ended, would you make the same choices? But then it's kind of like this idea of maybe you shouldn't know how things end because you might change it. And then you might have missed something that just because it was painful, that was important to you, right? But then he also added something really interesting, which was, can you escape fate? Or like, because of this idea that you are who you are, right? And if you keep meeting versions of yourself, you probably won't be able to change something because you're always gonna be you and you're not gonna be able to make yourself somebody else, therefore, you're going to make the same choices that you would make because of the things that matter to you. So you're always going to get stuck in this cycle, right? Like, I think that that's sort of the interesting idea that the show is, is presenting because no matter how much you change, you're always, you're kind of staying the same, right? Because we've seen Jonas struggle to get through to himself multiple times and then kind of make the same mistake that you would think that he wouldn't make but he can't stop making the same mistakes because he wants to save Marta so bad that he keeps getting into the same trap at least we saw that in like the first couple seasons so it's this kind of interesting idea of how much are people capable of changing, which I do think people are capable of change, but how capable are you of changing if like fundamentally who you are, right? Which is an interesting idea. And then they kind of bookended that with 
they're like them being doomed because of them. And I bet that or like since Marta and Jonas are so central to all of this, the origin has to be excuse me, something to do with Marta and Jonas. Especially since there's this maybe I'm reading into it too much, but this Adam and Eve sort of symbology or symbolism that's going on with the both of them. So I'm really curious to see how the season goes. I really enjoyed the first episode. I cannot wait for the next one. If you also cannot wait for the next one, you can actually watch it right now over on Patreon if you're watching this on YouTube, as well as my entire full-length reaction to this episode and every single episode thus far of Dark that is over there as well. I hope to see you next time and where I will try to delve into it and figure more stuff out. I do not think I figured out a lot in this episode, but you guys... <laughs> You guys are probably yelling at your screen like, you missed so much. How did you not see that? You know? And to that I say, I don't know. I'm, I can be dumb probably a lot. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. Um, I hope to see you next time for episode two. Until then. Bye guys. <laughs>